The following tip is DM-based. It requires prediction of the enemy pyro's movements and actions. If you're struggling with this, set it aside for a while and come back to it. Hello, lovely viewers. Let's say you're in a semi-hectic or chaotic situation. In order to live as long as possible, you need as much control over the situation as possible. But then, one of these evil creatures appears. If you get air blasted or knocked about, all your control is gone and you'll probably get killed. What do you do as a pyro or as any class in this situation? Here's one risky but useful option. Bait the air blast out of the pyro by stepping into and out of its range. By walking forward predictably for a short period of time, then immediately stopping just before entering air blast range, I avoid Satan's air blast and keep control of the situation. I also have the added benefit of getting my own counter air blast in on Satan. Here's another, somewhat easier to see, example. I'm behind enemy lines and I'd really like to win this fight against Pudding Cup. By this time, I'm reloaded and ready to go, and Pudding Cup does not have a full clip. I managed to get the first air blast off on Pudding, giving me a huge advantage. However, at this point, if I don't kill Pudding right away, someone else will come to his aid. At this distance, I'm expecting a counter air blast out of Pudding very soon. Now is the time to take some steps back and to the side to avoid his air blast. Pudding is out of shotgun shells and has no air blast ready, which lets me get an easy power jack kill. But remember, this relies on predicting the enemy pyro, which won't always work out, especially at higher levels. Please click the pyro to subscribe if you'd like. If you have any criticisms, suggestions, or enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please let me know with a comment or PM. Thanks very much for watching, and bye bye.